Hey guys, what's up? Fun Buddha Kobe here from Pomodoro Studio, and here we are with our first tutorial ever. Now let's check it. As you can see, there are some shadows and text coming, debris, waves. Just give it a very good, nice look. Now let's get started. Composition, new composition. Make it five second. Call it work. Now let's drag our. Now let's add some text. I'm going to call this impact. Now what I'm going to do now? Pre-compose the text. Call it. Call this word. Open it. Now title sequence. No, I mean. Now enlarge this. Make it nice and big. Get back to work. Now position this. Leave some frames for the shadow thing. Now, uh, let's animate this. Press P for position. Keyframe this. And go some frame forward. Put it here. Now go some frame back and take it up to the sky. Go high to the sky. Ha! <laughs> doesn't doesn't seems so fun. As you can see, it's coming, but it's not looking too good. So what I'm going to do? Just add some motion blur. Now it's not looking like that. It's on the ground. So what I'm going to do? Add us add some shadows. Now layer new solid shadows are black so we are going to make it black and call this shadow now shut this eye off take a ellipse tool and keep that in mind it should be shadow should be selected now make a mask a curve mask around it and voila put it beneath the our text and you can see it's not looking too good now, so what I'm going to do? Press MM and increase its feather mount as I desire, as we want it from here. Now what I'm going to do? As the object is in sky, the shadow should also be small. So also I'm going to animate this mask expansion. In the starting of the video, I'm going to. Put it in minus values. It should not be visible. And here I am going to increase its value. Not too much, but a little. So it's going to hold this yes, shadow, and it looks pretty good now. Now it's a now our basics are ready. Now let's get let's get the crack started. No. So again, composition new composition make it five second cracks now i'm going to take two cracks crack number one and two you can get this from video palette transform fit to comp now that was selected uh, press f4 to toggle the switches and overlay it the both are both are overlay now work and uh, what i'm going to do now crack layer and add it beneath the word and now you can see it's not work working properly as it was over here but it's not over there so i'm going to do this 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 little things help us to uh, help us to collapse the transformation put it here just beneath the object now i'm going to see when it's when it comes comes just here Put it beneath it. I'm going to cut a mask around this crack. Make it a little random. It looks pretty good. Overlay it. Now put mask, mask expansion keyframe it. Now 
Many of world man. Religious friend. When to come on ground we want to play only then. So take it few from away and put it in minus value. Also increase it. Now let's check this. Pretty good. The cracks are looking like that. They are just coming. Now what I'm going to do? Just add some debris to our comp. Now I like to use debris number one from Excel Essentials of Video Copilot. You can check that out also, but it's a little costly one. You can also check YouTube for this. Uh, scale it up. And we want the debris to start when just wood touches the ground. So just put it here. And it comes but nice and big. It's looking pretty good. Now just duplicate this one and put one on the back. Offset these. Reduce its uh, increase size. Put it on the back. Impact. Wow. Looking pretty good now. Now what I'm going to do as the last thing, not last, the second last thing, is our wave, our loop. So let's get to that. Land new solid. We are going to make it white. Call it wave. Uh, back click, double click on this. It will give our ellipse cycle. Now we get the mask, subtract the below one, press mm and on going to negative side of the uh, expansion of second mask, we will get this look. Now feather this a little. Now make it a 3D layer, press F4 to toggle the switches, 3D8, press, press W2 to rotate it and again going to put it down now uh, we are we should also animate this as you can see the object the impact or world is taking from here so as s scale it down from here keyframe the scale the crack goes the wave should also increase and wave should be f go far and far away now I'm what also I'm gonna do also reduce its opacity to zero and go far away. Now let's get a preview of this. What problem is I'm I can see the wave should be below our world and its position. Yes, it's position. I guess come like it's coming from the ground. Hmm, pretty good now. Now what I'm going to do for wave, I'm going to tint it red or any color you want. I actually like red, my favorite color. And goes away looking pretty good now as you can see our final comp uh, it was some look it was looking a little 3d so for this 3d work what I'm going to do now uh, type here bevel and bevel like this over world this will help us to making it a look a little bit of 3d and it took pretty good impact now at the last thing i want to tell you the in fact the best thing i like about this that if we doesn't like our world it's impact so what i'm going to do just go into the pre world 
now this impact the text tool and call it kick doesn't mean anything but okay and then get back to work and as you can see the kick is here same things it's looking pretty good let's let's check this preview how it's looking like so it's, it's now unfortunately this is the end so if you like this tutorial comment it like it and if you want anything by me to be made uh, write it in the description box and i am sure i spoke from one so i'll see you next time